Welcome back to the exciting world of inverter-based resources. In our ongoing series, we've explored various aspects of IBRs, from momentary cessation to frequency-related tripping. Today, in Episode 3, we dive into a critical issue known as phase-locked loop loss of synchronism. PLL, or phase-locked loop, is a crucial component of inverter-based resources that ensure synchronization with the grid's voltage and frequency. It acts as the brain of the IBR, constantly monitoring and adjusting to maintain perfect alignment with the power system. However, despite its essential role, the PLL can sometimes face challenges that result in a loss of synchronism. This occurs when the IBR loses its lock with the grid's voltage and frequency, leading to potential operational issues and even disconnection from the system. Join us as we delve into another exciting topic in our IBR series. Prior to phase-locked lock loop let us first understand about synchronization in AC power system. In a power system, synchronization is the process that harmonizes the frequency, phase angle, and voltage of different power sources and loads, ensuring safe and efficient power transfer. In an AC power system, the system frequency is dictated by synchronous generators. These remarkable machines are meticulously designed to rotate at a speed that generates power at the desired frequency, such as 50 Hz or 60 Hz. This specific speed, known as the synchronous speed, establishes an electromagnetic coupling, paving the way for synchronization. The synchronous speed of a generator is determined by the number of poles on its rotor. These poles dictate the rotational speed required to produce a voltage waveform with the designated frequency. It's through this synchronized rotation that the generator can seamlessly connect with the AC power system. Synchronizing a generator with the AC power system involves a careful adjustment of its rotational speed. The goal is to align the generator's frequency in phase angle with that of the power system, creating a seamless connection. This process requires precision and control to achieve a smooth and reliable synchronization. To ensure an accurate and safe synchronization, specialized devices called synchronizers come into play. These intelligent tools monitor the voltage and frequency of the generator, comparing them to the corresponding values in the power system. With the guidance, the generator's speed and phase angle can be adjusted gradually, bringing it in perfect harmony with the grid. Once synchronization is achieved, the generator becomes an integral part of the power system, contributing its generated power to meet the demands of connected loads. This during synchronization in a power system, the aim is to align the frequency, phase, and voltage of a generator with the existing power system. This process is achieved through the use of specialized devices and control mechanisms, such as auto-synchronizers or phase-locked loops. Auto-synchronizers are devices designed to monitor and adjust the frequency, phase, and voltage of the generator being synchronized. They compare these parameters to the corresponding values in the power system and provide feedback signals for controlling the generator's excitation system and prime mover. Phase-locked loops or PLL are another commonly used control mechanism for achieving synchronization in inverter-based resources. These devices and control mechanisms play a crucial role in achieving accurate synchronization. They ensure that the generator's frequency, phase, and voltage are in harmony with the power system, allowing for a smooth and seamless connection. Present power system includes both synchronous machines and inverter-based resources, IBR. Process of synchronization becomes a bit different for IBR compared to traditional synchronous machines. Since IBR, such as solar or wind inverters, do not have rotating parts. Thus question is how IBR which is DC power dominant are synchronized with AC power system. Let us learn about the phase locked loop or PLL which is a control through which IBR are synchronized with AC power system. Let us learn about phase locked loop. In the world of power systems, Synchronization is a crucial aspect of ensuring that different devices and resources operate in harmony. In the case of inverter-based resources, which lack the electromagnetic coupling with the grid found in synchronous machines, a phase-locked loop comes into play. 
The PLL serves as the backbone for keeping IBR synchronized and locked to the network, allowing for accurate alignment of the inverter's output waveform with the grid or another reference signal. Within an IBR, the evaluated phase angle of the PLL serves as a reference for all its controls. This phase angle is used to determine the amount of current that the IBR needs to inject into the system, ensuring proper synchronization. Let's break down the functioning of a PLL into simpler terms. The PLL takes a reference signal, which could come from the grid or another source representing the desired output waveform. The reference signal is then compared to the output waveform of the inverter using a phase detector. This phase detector measures the phase difference between the two signals, providing crucial information for synchronization. The output of the phase detector is utilized to control a voltage-controlled oscillator. It generates a waveform with a frequency directly proportional to the control voltage applied to it. The generated waveform from the voltage-controlled oscillator is fed back and compared to either the grid frequency or the frequency of the reference signal. If a phase difference is detected between the output waveform and the reference signal, the phase detector picks it up, prompting the voltage-controlled oscillator to adjust its frequency accordingly. This iterative process continues until the phase difference is minimized, locking the output waveform and phase with the reference signal. The comparison between the output waveform and the reference signal along with the adjustment of the voltage-controlled oscillator, forms a continuous feedback loop. This ensures that the inverter's output tracks the reference signal accurately over time, maintaining synchronization with the grid or reference source. By utilizing the phase-locked loop, IBRs can effectively synchronize their output waveform with the grid or other reference signals. This allows for seamless integration and optimized operation of IBRs within the power system, promoting efficient and reliable power transfer. Now let us discuss the actual issue of PLL performance during faults. In the dynamic world of power systems, unexpected events can occur that put the performance of the phase-locked loop, PLL, to the test. During a close-in fault or a significant switching action on the grid, the sudden and drastic change in the inverter's terminal phase angle can present challenges for the PLL's ability to accurately track the voltage angle. Picture this, a fault or a disruptive event sends shockwaves through the power system. The rapid alteration in the inverter's terminal voltage due will cause distorted voltage and frequency deviation and can leave the PLL scrambling to keep up. The PLL, which relies on precise phase measurements to maintain synchronization, may struggle to provide an adequate estimation of the angle as it tries to catch up with the rapidly changing conditions. In these intense moments, the PLL might encounter a phenomenon known as a phase jump. The sudden shift in the voltage angle, as observed by the PLL, can be quite significant. It's as if the ground shakes beneath the PLL's feet, making it stumble in its efforts to maintain accurate synchronization. This disruption doesn't go unnoticed. The PLL, perceiving the abrupt change and struggling to adapt quickly, may activate its protective mechanism known as PLL loss of synchronism protection. This safety measure is in place to prevent further complications and to ensure the integrity and stability of the power system. Alternatively, inverter-based resources may momentarily cease their operation altogether, seeking respite from the tumultuous conditions. In power system, there are always going to be faults. It's just a part of this system. But there are ways to minimize their impact on IBR. Here are some of the methods that inverter manufacturers use to handle faults and avoid loss of synchronism of PLL. First method which some OEM chose is to freeze the phase angle on detection of such events, continue to generate DQ axis current references, and inject currents based on the frozen phase angle. This may help with PLL ride through but they can also pose issues, such as high DC bus voltage that can lead to tripping. Second method used by some OEM is to have loss of synchronism which is a protective function that operates when angle difference between phase generated by the PLL and the grid phase exceeds a threshold for a predetermined period of time, on the order of a couple milliseconds. 
Third method is to have higher short circuit ratio of point of input connection that is having a strong grid connection to reduce voltage dip or rise during fault switching. By using these methods, inverter manufacturers can help to protect their products from faults and keep them operating safely and reliably. Out of these, last method will help in long-term improvement of VBR connectivity. While first and second method has its own limitation as in one case inverter can be under threat while in other grid will at threat with IBR tripping. Now let us look what is provided in IEEE 2800 standard in IBR. In IEEE 2800 standard there is a requirement for IBR to have voltage phase angle changes right through. Standards state that IBR plants should ride through positive sequence phase angle changes. It should swiftly adapting to voltage fluctuations, seamlessly adjusting to phase angle changes of less than or equal to 25 electrical degrees per sub-cycle to cycle. It means that during fault if phase jump of 25 degrees or less is observed, there should not be any loss of synchronization or momentary cessation or inverter tripping on any protection. In addition, when an unbalanced faults occur, causing phase angle changes in individual phases, the IBR plant remains steadfast. As long as the positive sequence angle change remains within the specified criterion, the IBR plant continues to power through, ensuring a reliable and stable electrical grid. These criterion are to be defined by planner and operator through system study. As phase angles fluctuate post-event, the IBR plant may observe active and reactive current oscillations emerge dynamically responding to the phase angle changes. These oscillations, positively damped, signify the IBR plant's ability to navigate through the shifting tides of electrical waves. Inverter should not have any scope of current blocking in the post-disturbance period. The IEEE 2800 standard on voltage phase angle changes right through sparks a revolution in the world of IBR. It sets the stage for a new era of power reliability, where IBR plants redefine the limits of what's possible. With this standard as their guiding light, IBR plants embrace the responsibility of powering industries, homes, and communities, no matter the challenges they face. Here ends the third episode. Until next time, keep exploring, keep innovating, and keep powering the world. Dot. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe.